Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can create or how we can manage the uh, per user MFA as well as the other settings across the Microsoft 365 environment, right? So before that, there would be a question why we wanted to manage per user MFA, right? Or what are the different use cases or different reasons that we wanted to manage per user MFA instead of uh, managing it or maybe uh, why we should do that right so there are different questions or situations when we wanted to enable per user MFA and in most cases that is not the ideal because it is not a good way to enforce MFA instead of on a uh, instead on instead of a company policy or instead of a conditional access policy, right? And we are just enforcing MFA on each user account. When we have a number of users, more than 100 or maybe 1000, then that becomes very difficult to do that. And it should be a policy to bring the MFA in scale, right? So, and that is why the per, M per user MFA is not going to be a scalable solution. Instead, we should do that using conditional access policy and per user MFA is the one capability which we can simply uh, allow users or maybe we can simply let users to uh, use it basis on what exactly how we wanted to push her through right so uh, I'm going to show you how we can access per user MFA as well as what are the different settings that we can do First, I'm going to show you from 365 admin center. Let's go here under the active users and then users. And then you see multi-factor authentication. So once I click on that, it is going to simply redirect us to this page where uh, we see multi-factor authentication, right? And there we see two options, users and service settings. So now let's say I wanted to enforce MFA for this user, so I'll be enabling it from here and then i'm going to simply enforce so now what would be the outcome of enforcing the per user mfa right so it could be either of any of the options that we are going to select let's say i'm going to enable the mfa so now that is enabled right and if i go back here you can see the enforce button now so enforce is going to be something which is going to let us do a certain actions for this user account right so now it is enforced for the selected accounts that we can see and also we have an option to disable it if in case we wanted to do and if i wanted to bring some more settings or maybe delete all existing app passwords or restore mfa or required selected users to provide contact methods again right so all of these actions can be modified and changed for that particular user account right so this is when the enforce option is going to give us an option as well as opportunity to do that right and enforcing is really is going to do us or give us the capability to simply uh, create or allow users to create app passwords on their identities or on their individual accounts right so once they are logging into office.com portal and then they go to the uh, ak.ms slash mfa right mfa setup and then they would be able to uh, create a app passwords for their identities right and that is why per user mfa is going to helpful but there are potential issues and risks uh, when we would not like that to allow right and that is when we would be maybe uh, simply denying or we are not going to let people create per user uh, app passwords and that is why there are some settings i'm going to show you how we can prevent users to uh, not to create app passwords for a legacy applications like smtp applications pop3 mf4 and all those are the legacy protocols right so we can manage that from under service settings from this portal also i'll show you how we can do that from entra id or portal.azure.com as well so i'm in user section here and at the top you can see per user mfa 
so from here also we see the number of users and then service settings so under service settings we have options to simply manage it manage it as an allow or disable which is app passwords so currently it is set to allow all users to create app passwords for non browser based applications and we can simply disable it by selecting the second option right uh, similarly we can also skip the multi factor authentication on listed ip addresses so if we have a number of ip addresses that are part of this one and then we would be able to skipping or maybe we just wanted to skip the mfa on the those network ip addresses right and this way we can simply go ahead and uh, exclude or maybe skip mfa during that process right so now i have i have option to disable uh, passwords as well as trusted ips can be allowed so that users cannot be enforced to authenticate from intra id or within a specific range of ip address that we are going to define it here so similarly we can do the same thing from this portal as well and we can skip the mfa for those number of ip ranges right and upon that we can also put some other settings to remember the mfa on trusted devices for number of days let's say the default period is 90 days but we can set it to maybe 180 days or maybe uh, we can keep it 365 days right so this way we can enforce or skip the users mfa to remember for those number of days and users won't be asked for that particular period right so this is how we can manage the setting as an administrator and this can also help end users to improve their experience on office network on office corporate devices right and then we would be increasing our uh, end users experience to interact and use the applications and everything effectively right so this is how we can work on this and implement this change and i'm i'm also going to make a video on the legacy authentication methods as well as how we can identify those legacy authentication methods and how we can migrate our current authentication methods which recently microsoft has made a change right and they have given a timeline till 25th of uh, 30th september of 2025 right and yeah so that would be happening and that is going to come so i'm going to make a separate video on that and yep i'll be doing that and posting it right so that's all for this video uh, hope you like it please do like share and subscribe and thanks for watching bye for now